The first Aztec Warfare match that Lucha Underground did was so good and so well received that it was no surprise that they would bring it back for season two and do it again and make it a recurring annual event. That's awesome and that's great. Um, and I was really excited to bring Aztec Warfare back. My only concern was, is like, all right, you've done it once. What could you possibly do that wasn't already done in the first one? What can you do to really make this one stand out and be different? And much to my surprise, they not only lived up to the first one, they surpassed it with all the different things that they did. They had different feuds and storylines going into this thing, like Cage and Johnny Mundo and Drago and Jack Evans and... Uh, Pentagon and Mil Muertes and all that stuff going on. Uh, they had big moments and big debuts, too. This was the Lucha Underground debut of Rey Mysterio Jr., El Dragon Azteca Jr., Joey Ryan, and obviously the big star of the match, the monster, Matanza Cueto. Now, Matanza was a character that had been built up all throughout Season 1, and we never saw him. Uh, he was kept in the shadows, and all we knew is that he was this murderous violent brute monster that Dario Cueto kept locked in a cage and it was his brother and little by little they would reveal his backstory but we never actually saw him and we never saw him do any of these horrible things uh but he does have a body count he murdered Bale uh in one of the more memorable moments in Lucha Underground's history so there was a lot of excitement for Matanza's debut and like what is this monster going to be like when he eventually does arrive in the temple and Immediately, right off the bat, you look at that whole getup with the mask and the jumpsuit and everything, and he looks like something out of a horror movie. Like, he looked so intimidating and so awesome, too. And so when just by looking at him first time around, you knew it was like, all right, this guy means business. This guy is, he is a monster. He lives up to the moniker. And he gets into the ring as the final entrant and just obliterates everybody suplex after suplex after slam after power bomb after all these big power moves that he did to eight or nine different superstars it was just an amazing display and an amazing debut one of the coolest debuts i've ever seen for a wrestler um the monster matanza cueto made a huge impact immediately on lucha underground and right off the bat it's like oh my god who can possibly beat this guy as champion and it was really great to see this unstoppable monster force win the title in his debut and defeat so many big names in Lucha Underground's history. And now we still have this story continuing to this day. Who can beat Matanza? Who knows?